You rarely hear about an athlete losing his sense of smell in a tragic accident. Instead, you might have encountered here and there that some sprinter lost his legs, or a philosopher lost his mind, or a painter went blind, and a musician can no longer hear any sounds. Ludwig von Beethoven was considered one of the most influential pianists and musical geniuses of all time. Beethoven's personal life was marked by struggle against deafness, but amazingly, some of his most important masterpieces were composed in his last ten years when he was completely deaf. Beethoven was born in 1770 in the city of Bonn, a principality of the Holy Roman Empire at the time. He had two younger brothers. His mother Maria was a slender, genteel, and deeply moralistic woman. However, his father, Johannes, was a mediocre court singer better known for his alcoholism than any musical ability. Beethoven's grandfather, godfather and namesake, Kapellmeister Ludwig von Beethoven, was Bonn's most prosperous and eminent musician, a source of endless pride for young Beethoven. Since an early age, his father began teaching music with an extraordinary rigor and brutality that affected him for the rest of his life. On a near-daily basis, Beethoven was flogged, locked in the cellar, and deprived of sleep for extra hours of practice. Neighbors provided accounts of the small boy weeping while he played the clavier. Standing atop a footstool to reach the keys, his father beating him for each hesitation or mistake. He studied the violin and clavier with his father as well as taking additional lessons from organists around town. Whether in spite of or because of his father's draconian methods, Beethoven was a prodigiously talented musician from his earliest days. Beethoven attended Latin grade school where he struggled with sums and spelling his entire life. He was, at best, an average student. As he put it himself, music comes to me more readily than words. In 1781, at the age of 10, Beethoven withdrew from school to study music full-time with Christian Gottlieb Nefa. Three years later, with his father's worsening alcoholism and his voice decaying, Beethoven formally requested an official appointment as assistant court organist. Despite his youth, his request was accepted. 1792, with French revolutionary forces sweeping across the Rhineland into the electorate of Cologne, Beethoven decided to leave his hometown for Vienna, where he studied music with Josef Haydn. Beethoven quickly established a reputation as a virtuoso pianist, who was especially adept at improvisation, and spent the rest of his life composing music. For a variety of reasons that included his crippling shyness and unfortunate physical appearance, Beethoven never married or had children. Despite his extraordinary output of beautiful music, Beethoven was lonely and frequently miserable throughout his adult life. Short-tempered, absent-minded, greedy and suspicious to the point of paranoia, Beethoven feuded with his brothers, his publishers, his housekeepers, his pupils, and his patrons. At the same time as Beethoven was composing some of his most immortal works, he was struggling to come to terms with a shocking and terrible fact, one that he'd tried desperately to conceal. He was going deaf. Almost miraculously, despite his rapidly progressing deafness, Beethoven continued to compose at a furious pace. Eventually, Beethoven died in 1827, at the age of 56, of post-hepatitic cirrhosis of the liver. But his legacy is still alive till this day, and forever.